You can get to the back lot through that door and down the corridor, Mr. Waite. Thanks. Hey! Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Item before I go. It's been a busy night. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia.